Hi, this is Francisco Pijan from VitaCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is no, you were not meant for each other. I'm saying that in a very respectful way, okay? What I want to do here is reinforce the fact that if you were meant for each other, you would be together, right? Um, this is one of the key mindsets or ideas that can really keep you stuck when you're trying to move on. It is the belief that in fact something is wrong with the way life is going on right now and that you were in fact meant to be with each other. She's not getting that idea and uh, you were really soulmates and uh, you know something happened in, in your life or in the circumstances or events which don't match the destiny line or what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, So when you think about it that way you are um, going along the line of an emotional dead end really you are hitting a wall because the mindset that you have doesn't match reality so this is a type of thoughts or ideas that you have to shift consciously shift them so that you don't end up being trapped into an emotional dead end so what are these ideas exactly it is the belief that somehow you had this very special and unique connection and that there is nobody out there with who you will be able to share that again ever okay when you think that way you actually limit yourself because it's simply not the truth life is not playing some form of bad trick on you and you know giving you some form of gift and then taking it away from you so that you feel miserable for the rest of your life that's not what is happening okay it's very important for you to realize that straight away if you were soulmates, how come she's not with you? If you were meant for each other, how come she ran away with another guy? You know, think about it and, th and realize that it doesn't make sense at all. Life is not some form of, uh, you know, labyrinth trying to trap you into some form of emotional dead end, into some form of no solution uh, situation where you, you must simply feel miserable for the rest of your life. That's not what is happening, okay? I'm going to give you another way of looking at it which I think is the key mindset that you want to embed, uh, put in your mind and um, start you know, embodying through actions and beliefs. Okay? You have as many soulmates as, <laughs> as there can be you know, on, on, on this planet. You can have dozens of soulmates, dozens of people with who you are going to have a special connection. The reason why you would not establish a new connection with somebody new is because you are still stacked on your ex. That's the only thing that can limit you. And okay, if you don't believe that, it's, it's okay with me, okay? Uh, it's uh, it's a simply a winning mindset that I want to give you here. It's a way of looking at life or looking at things that is going to simply help you go to the next step. And uh, of course, you know, somebody can come and say, well, I believe that we have just one specific soulmate, one specific person with whom we are meant to be. But in my experience, that's not the way it works. So I'm not saying, you must really believe what I'm saying, but I'm simply giving you an avenue that you can start embracing if you feel stacked into this other mindset. So here are the key ideas. You have dozens and dozens of possible soulmates in your life. There are dozens and do dozens of possible women with who you can have a, an exciting and strong relationship which, are going to be, which is going to be totally empowering and freeing for you, okay? You have dozens of possibilities, dozens of potentials, and all you have to do is start embracing it and look at life from that perspective. So, no, you were not meant for each other. Otherwise, you would be together. Again, life is not playing a trick. And again, I'm saying that in a very respectful way, okay? I'm not saying that what you shared with this woman had no value. Of course it had value. But does it mean that this is the only story that can happen for you in your life? Of course not. There is an, um, a future for you, full of possibilities, full of potential, and all you have to do is look at it, you know, decide that these possibilities are right there in front of you, and uh, decide to embrace it, decide to go for it. That's a conscious choice that you make, okay? It's a conscious decision, it's a mindset, it's a thought, it's a, it's a highway of energy that you decide to embrace because you make that choice. The beliefs that you have in you are beliefs that you choose, okay? And if a certain belief uh, locks you in an emotional dead end, choose for another belief, choose for another way of looking at life so that you have power, energy, open doors into the future, okay? Remember that. Take care and bye-bye.